Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, so let's continue with the uh, box show and tell for uh, year two of my uh, Monster Strike game. And then uh, today we will look at water. And then um, first I'll sort by Ableberry so we can look at my uh, Hatcher monsters. And then uh, we'll look at uh, Max Lux afterwards. Um, but yeah, here we got a couple of uh, Moxa Shiro. And I really, really like her. Um, she's not as versatile or as powerful as other limited monsters, but still really like her. And uh, yeah, she's one of my favorites for um, uh, Avalon especially. Uh, partly because she's a paladin, uh, so whatever Able Bear she gets, she can share with uh, Yamato Takeru. And yeah, I do prefer the Ascension version to the Evolution version, uh, just for the way that they're used. And then uh, we'll look at one of my new favorite characters. Actually, he was one of my favorite characters even before he got his uh, Transcendent form. And that's uh, Lancelot. And then uh, for him, he has kind of ideal uh, Able Berries. Uh, he's got both the class and the style kin strength. And again, if I use him in Avalon, uh, he gives all my paladins uh, all of that extra strength. Uh, kin Vigor would also be good, I think. Uh, but yeah, another character that I'm kind of considering uh, beginning the game uh, with a reset marathon. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, here is one of my uh, Susanos. Pretty great. Uh, him I'm, I am not considering, however, starting a new game with, um, because he only has a single uh, Null ability. And then, uh, yeah, here's one of my uh, double Max Lux with the uh, Ableberry. I uh, really like Okita Soji. And then, let me see here. Here's uh, Odin. I have another one of him that is transcended, uh, but I don't feel like using more than one of him is really necessary at a time, which is why I have uh, the other one just uh, staying here on the Ascension form. And speaking of that, uh, there he is with a Mend and Sidekick. I really like a Sidekick on him to improve his uh, homing power. And then uh, Mend is also good, uh, because uh, in the JP game now there's an impossible mission where uh, putting Mend on your... Uh, water guys with no gravity barrier is really good, so unfortunately I won't be able to use him there, but uh, yeah, good to know. And then, here's one of my favorite uh, extreme drop monsters, and that's uh, Marie Antoinette uh, Evolution. I like her because she's a pierce with no gravity barrier with a, a 16 turn meteor strike shot. And that's good for uh, certain uh, floors of the Tower of Champions, and then also uh, Murasame and Muramasa. Yeah, I really like her. There's some guys with uh, Strike Haste, Cutthroat. Cutthroat's pretty good on uh, Queen Butterfly uh, because she's good for a number of uh, impossible missions. And then uh, those bosses can have a lot of hit points, so that's pretty good on her. And Survivor. Ah, Sidekick I got on uh, Verdandi, uh, even before she got her uh, buff, her new bump combo. Um, so that was pretty lucky. Uh, I think still my number one used uh, character um, for this game. And Profiteer, Genius. And then, uh, yeah, a number of monsters without Able Berries. Uh, that includes uh, like a new Transcendent forms because I haven't been really working on them. Uh, Nanami's pretty great though, the design and then her abilities. Um, and her uh, short range bump combos, which I think are fun. And then, um, yeah, a couple of um, Gennai. I think he's good, but just never used him enough to get Able Berries on him. And then, like, some doubles, and then some other characters. Uh, Saizo, she got a Transcendent form lately in the uh, JP game, and she looks pretty darn strong. So that could be cool to have her there. Um, but yeah, next we will move on to looking at uh, Max Lux. And then looks like I have uh, 18 here, which is a little bit less than uh, some of my other elements. Uh, let me see if there's any worth talking about. Well, here's uh, Bisha Monten. I can just show off that I made the max luck of her. Uh, her quest, I felt, was a lot of fun. Um, a lot of people don't think so. It's very... you kind of have to be pretty precise, and then you need to have the right team. Uh, but I thought it was fun. And uh, she's a fun character to use as well. Um, she's got the double null and then the Pierce uh, Meteor Strike Shot, uh, which already makes her great. Uh, but then she has a very strong bump combo, which kind of requires you to play a certain way, uh, which I think is fun. Otherwise, here's uh, Yamato Takeru, and he's probably my favorite Max Luck of anybody in the game right now. 
Um, I didn't discover this until I finished him uh, earlier, no, late uh, last year. Uh, but once I started using him, he turned out to be pretty great. So, yeah, when I move to the JP game, I might make him again. That's how much I like him. <laughs> and then, actually, that's about all I wanted to say about the blue ones there. And uh, there's my 90 Lux. Um, so, yeah, that was my uh, water monster box in uh, Monster Strike. Next up will be uh, wood. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.